This driver accidentally saw something he shouldn't have. To avoid embarrassment, he subconsciously touched his eyes. But Jack, the rich businessman, had already noticed his action. Immediately asked him what he saw. In order to save his job as a driver, the man said he saw a sacred tree. That's the big tree. Whoever honors the tree will be rich and healthy. But what Baron didn't expect was that he lied. But the two men actually believed it. So he gave them an enthusiastic explanation. But the next moment, Barang accidentally saw something he shouldn't have. He was so shocked that he ran a hand through his hair to ease the embarrassment. The rich merchant rebuked you for doing that again. Did you see something again? Yes. Sir, do you see that path over there? Yes, I do. That's Buddha. Looking at the two men who were so easy to fool, Barang felt that he was very clever. So he got permission from Jack, the rich businessman. He drove his limousine straight home to visit his family, to satisfy his vanity. All the way home, he honked his horn. When he got out of the car, he looked at all the neighbors who were attracted to him. He couldn't hold back the smile on his face. He waltzed right past them. But when he got home, his face darkened. Grandma saw how much money Baron had made. She was afraid that Baron would go out of her control. She ordered Baron to marry someone she'd arranged. He refused without saying a word. He knew that if he stayed here, he would die like his father, being squeezed by his grandmother. So he ignored his brother and left. Day 2. Baron is trying to do his job well. Once by the rich merchant's wife, Lisa. After he was disliked for his lack of hygiene, he immediately went to the market to buy clothes and shoes to make himself clean and tidy. But just when things were getting better. But that day. An accident happened. To celebrate her birthday, Lisa decided to go for a drive. But before she drove 500 meters, she had a car accident. Looking at the panic of the two rich businessmen, the man immediately realized that this was a good opportunity to make a difference. So after making sure there were no witnesses around, he immediately took them away from the scene of the crime. The next day, Barang was rewarded by Jack's father for this incident. But the next day, Jack's father took out a confession. Looking at the contents, Barang understood that he was going to be made a scapegoat. But he was even more disappointed. His grandmother had also signed the confession for her own benefit. It was like trying to force Barang to die. He knew he had no choice but to sign the confession. From now on, Barang had to live in fear every day. But that day, Lisa brought good news. The police had no witnesses. The police had ruled it an accidental death. He was so relieved. But the next moment, Lisa asked why you kicked him. The rich businessman replied that he deserved to be beaten up. Why did you just kick him? He made such a big sacrifice. In the end, Lisa couldn't stand the thought of her family treating the poor like dogs any longer. So she just got on a plane and left. And when Jack learned of his wife's departure, he blamed Baron for everything. He took it out on Barange. Baron didn't leave Jack, even though he was treated that way. Instead, he took care of Jack, because it's time for him to get his revenge. Every time this driver fills up his tank, sells half of it to other drivers, then take the invoice to his boss for reimbursement. After work at 10 p.m., he'd go behind his boss's back to pick up passengers. In just one night, Barong earned more than 5,000 yuan, that's twice his usual salary. Seeing the money in his hand, Barong thought it was a fast way to make money. He got a taste for it. He started doing it more often. In less than a month, Barong was soon making a fortune. But man is an animal who is not easily satisfied. That day, Barong watched his boss hand him a bag because he was in a hurry. This aroused his curiosity. So he followed his boss's request. He put the bag in the car. Barong opened the bag immediately. Inside was a large amount of cash. He was shocked. So the boss went to talk to a senior government official about business. In fact, he was going to bribe them. But looking at the money in the bag, Barang suddenly had bad intentions. He could eat and drink for the rest of his life if he could get his hands on this money. But after he calmed down, he soon stopped thinking about it. It turns out that when he first joined the company, the boss's father was trying to prevent him from betraying him. Barang's family was put under surveillance. If he was found to be disloyal, his family would be shot in the head. Since then, Barang had to pretend he didn't see them and drive for his boss. But that day, his nephew suddenly came to his door. He brought him a letter. Grandma saw Barang's earning power growing. Grandma was afraid he'd get out of her hands. Not only did she threaten to send all his wages home, but next month he must marry someone she's arranged for him. Otherwise, she'll go to his place and make trouble with his boss. When he saw this, he was furious. But something even worse happened to break him down. On this day, his private work was reported to his boss. But what angered Barong was that the boss didn't talk to him face to face. Instead, he secretly recruited other drivers in private. The pressure from his family and the fear of losing his only job. After much deliberation, Barong was ready to take the plunge. That day, before picking up his boss from work, he wiped all the fingerprints off the car. He hid the broken bottles in the back of the car. Then he gave his nephew all his belongings and told him to wait for him at the station. Once everything was ready, Barone drove to pick up his boss. Perhaps Lady Luck was on his side. When he picked up his boss, it was raining heavily. So he drove to the countryside. He lied about a tire problem. He couldn't change it himself. The boss just wanted to go home. He didn't think too much about it. When he heard Barone say he needed help, 
He got out of the car to help him, but as he bent down to lift the tire, after he'd taken care of the boss, Barone took the boss's money with him. He and his nephew took a car and fled to another city. The first thing he did was change his hairstyle. On the other side, the boss's father was on his trail. He killed all of Barangay's family. He even put out a wanted notice. But Barong is very arrogant. He knew the police wouldn't recognize him. He brought a large sum of money to the top government officials. Barong didn't want his future to end like this, so he bribed him. He asked him to arrest all the drivers in the city on the grounds that their licenses had expired. And Barong took this opportunity. He opened a taxi company with his connections and his knowledge of what drivers need. Soon, Barong monopolized the taxi business. And at this moment, the little drivers who used to drive for others no longer existed.